earn legitimate income through whistleblowing policy. You have sister boss, Ajis Youth. Welcome to the news. And please subscribe to our channel. And please to get updates from us, click on the subscribe button and the notification button. The Executive Chairman, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has appealed to the youth and general public to embrace the whistleblowing policy of the federal government in opposing economic and financial crimes. So they are saying they will start paying people. Oh yeah, they should tell us how much now. Yes now. As they ought. Just come and tell us the price. Of course, there are some people who... <laughs> will not be doing it for you for free i think this is a kind of encouragement for people to you know do this but as well it is also very risky except they're going to say they're going to they're going to protect the blower is it the blower or the blowy <laughs> the person that blows the whistle now so that tomorrow you know go and point <laughs> point somebody and say ah this person that told us so then somebody will now you know Let's find out more about this. The news in detail. Please stay with us. Bawa made this appeal on Wednesday when he met with a group of social media influencers under the ages of the Mofato miracle shot in Abuja. In a statement titled EFC's boss misleaders of Mofato miracle shot, tax Nigeria's on whistleblowing, and posted on EFC's Facebook page. But why show that the policy was still in force and closely monitored by the anti graft agency? He added that whistleblowers have the opportunity for legitimate earning by exposing economic and financial crimes that lead to financial recovery. The EFCC chairman encouraged whistleblowers to make use of the EFCC reporting app Eagle's Eye, which could be downloaded from the Google Play Store or Apple Store to report economic and financial crimes cases. Led by author and human rights activist Richard Akinola, the group said they have followed closely the performance of the Bawa led FCC and have come to realization that concerted efforts are needed in the corruption fight. They promise to partner with the commission in the fight against economic and financial crimes. Other members of the groups that were part of the visit include Lara Owo Eye Wise, Benga Aruleba, Yomi Udunoga, and Kemas Osuji. Okay. I'm a book and earn youth legitimate income, but cryptocurrency are regarded illegal. Flying on autopilot. <laughs> oh, more this backlash, as in this savage reply is, is, is hot. Ah, this one is bass boost. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, yeah, so I think months back last year, this country that is calling our youth lazy, that our youth are always trying to do something for themselves, came out and banned the use of or trading of cryptocurrency. Like, I don't understand. These people are trying to do well for themselves, and you are bent on squashing the life out of them. Tomorrow you call them lazy on national or international television. Use them for any cheap empty promises. EFCC go do work. <laughs> I cannot stand to be killed. Where's the guy that talk about budget paddling? Nowhere to be found. <laughs> that was what I said. If they're going to come and start saying, okay, you are, you are not it is not going to be traced to you. They will do it in such a way that you just drop the info. And, and then, I don't even know how it is going to be done. But see this country, <laughs> their policies. Their policies. Nobody, ah, nobody believes them anymore. Blame was against the common man while you all know the major thieves losing the country's treasury. But you all fold your hands to watch. Another, another buzz boost. Same EFCC official will reveal whistleblower identity to the criminal. Whistleblowing business in Nigeria to our government agencies is calamitous. This <laughs> is not small calamitous. So. Why have you not put pressure on the Senate to pass the whistleblower protection bill to law? That's the only way you can take this serious. Exactly what I'm saying. If you're going to come out and say, you know what, you can blow whistle and you are safe. And there is a, not, what am I even saying? Have they followed all the law in Nigeria? I don't even think it is still safe. So I, I was going to say it was safe then. I just told myself that no. Even our laws, our common laws, yeah, they don't follow it. Not to talk of, no. Huh. 
It's a deadly profession. If they're protected, fine. Corruption is deadly and we must fight. We must all fight it. Early grave to the youth. Why is this government so heartless? Can you protect the whistleblowers? Keeping the secret is the problem of the state. We don't trust any of you. I rather keep most than follow your advice. <laughs> ah, they say wisdom is profitable to the wise. Okay. Don't so whistleblow will land you in prison. Same EFCC will prosecute you for making false or unverifiable or verifiable allegations. <laughs> Just listen to this. Use the lives of retired force men like police or military, and that will teach you a great lesson that this country, <laughs> this country is useless. Ah, Amo, people are people are saying you can't walk. And see, sincerely, look at it now. They are not far from the truth. Imagine you're blowing a whistle, and the EFCC swings into action, and they find out that Amo, um, this person will compensate them well. And the person will now say, on one condition, they're going to expose the... Ah, um, hey, it is not going to be funny. It will not be funny. <laughs> I know of a bullion van presidential hopeful of APC. Now, give me my legitimate earnings or else I will institute a legal action. <laughs> Somebody's advising him, don't risk your life, miss. <laughs> don't, list, don't, don't be smart, don't risk your life. Hey, so I'm a ball and snitching on someone is now legit legitimately business in Nigeria, right? Nigeria, I hate.